I'm Dr. Anita Parshekar, Medical Director, Blue Myriad of 11 Blue Myriad centers all over the country. Leelavati Hospital, Mumbai, uh, B.Y. Patil Hospital, Navi, Mumbai, and many others in Delhi, Mohali, Indore, Nagpur, etc. Today, I will be talking to you about tips for embryo transfer. Embryo transfer is a very delicate process. You know, today when I did an embryo transfer in the morning, I always talked to the couple before the process. So they came and sat next to me and they said, Doctor, what precautions should we take before an embryo transfer? I think it's very important for a person to understand what to do before an embryo transfer. So when I sit with the patients, first of all, I discuss, I think, what uh, what are the embryos that need to be transferred whether we are transferring one embryo or two embryos uh, you know what is their history everything is taken into account and what are the instructions so medication is very very important in an embryo transfer so you should take your medications as advised by the doctor understand the medications properly if you don't understand a prescription write it in your own hands i think it's very important that you take the medicines properly and at the proper time put an alarm on your phone so that you don't forget the medications at all then the second question which i'm asked very frequently is doctor what should i eat so you know you can eat anything and everything there are no restrictions as such on any food items because in the allopathy, we do not have any food item restriction. What I feel is a healthy diet is very important. A complete diet is very important. That you should eat an adequate amount of proteins, fats and carbohydrates. And I think our Indian diet of, sub, you know, of sabzi, roti, you know, uh, dal, chawal and some salad is really very good and fruits. We have yogurt in our meals. I think it's a very complete diet by itself. Having uh, the only thing that I feel is our breakfast is really devoid of proteins. We eat a very carbohydrate rich breakfast. So maybe that can be changed and a few nuts can be added to our uh, vegetarian breakfast or an egg can be added to the non-vegetarian breakfast. So food is very, very important. Then the second question that everybody asks is, do I need bed rest? Now, the common myth is now, if I put a baby inside, I need to rest. But that is totally wrong. You don't need bed rest. What I tell my girls is that we will put you under house arrest for two days or three days at the most. Because you do not need bed rest. What the girls need is a mental rest. What do I mean by that? Meaning there should be no mental stress. You know, in some way, if you're, you know, if you're very anxious, you're thinking about the, only about the treatment, you should do some meditation or if you can, if you're not the type who can meditate, you know, sometimes some people cannot meditate. So then they can take up some hobby like painting, singing, you know, watching TV, reading books, because if you are focused on some kind of activity that in itself, I call it meditation because everybody cannot meditate so different things for different people when your mind is distracted and you're not worrying and you're not stressing that is meditation then the other thing that is very very important is also sleep so sleeping properly sleeping a good quality sleep is very important so if all these things are there and then of course we test we do the blood test after 14 days and we find out whether you're pregnant or not. So these are the precautions that you need to take once we do the embryo transfer. And if there is any signs of bleeding or you know excessive vaginal discharge or itching or if you feel there's a foul smelling odor, you must contact your doctor immediately and talk to them. And I think uh, if you even talk to your doctor in between about any problems, any other problem that you have, maybe the injection is hurting you or if the tablets are not being inserted properly, those are the questions which we get regularly asked. You can always go to your gynecologist and talk to them. So don't worry about what to do and what not to do. I think the best thing is to be happy and to be totally stress-free, take your medicines properly and enjoy the time.
and my girls go back to work also during after embryo transfer. So three days of home arrest and then they go back to work. So I think that would be a good way to conduct yourself after an embryo transfer.